Both state and local agencies that support veterans are seeing an uptick in calls and visits with the withdrawal of troops in Afghanistan and the 20th anniversary of September 11th. 13 On Your Side's Andrea Flores spoke with two veterans. She joins us now with what they said. Andrea. Juliet, the two veterans I spoke with tonight want to remind everyone that they're not alone if what they're seeing on TV and the news recently is triggering for them. And it feels kind of hopeless. It's both the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan and the 20th anniversary of 9-11 that has some Afghanistan war veterans struggling with their mental health. It's just exacerbated once they deal with or they have to um, see the fruits of their labor kind of um, feel like it's uh, not valued or in, in some way uh, all that ground that was made and all that progress that was made um, it's basically lost. It's something Robert Neer says he's noticed increase both in his work with the Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency and in his personal life as a veteran himself. There's some level of frustration and vocalization out there in the community. A recent study finds 9 in 10 Afghanistan veterans have exacerbated mental health struggles since the Taliban takeover this summer. Combat veterans normally have some level of pride that they want to, uh, you know, share and that there's not a lot of feelings of pride related to this this current situation with Afghanistan. So it's kind of tough. So these things will hit veterans at, at different times with, you know, with different impacts. Derek Van Bali served in Iraq and now works as the Muskegon and Wyoming VA clinics as a suicide prevention coordinator. And he knows firsthand that getting help was tough but crucial. It's been a game changer being able to talk to other veterans about issues and to be able to talk to a mental health professional um, to get some guidance in in what I dealt with in the military and what I deal with in my you know civilian life now. The main message he wants to get across to all veterans is that there's always someone out there to listen. It does take some strength and courage to be willing to reach out and get some help. You know the help is there. The Battle Creek VA Medical Center is running an in-person and virtual check-in group for all veterans who need a place to talk and meet with others, and you can find out how to get involved with that and other mental health resources at WZZM13.com. Juliet. Andrea, thank you.